you ever gone to the grocery store and while you're looking for stuff to buy, you get kind of stumped because you want to buy healthy stuff, but you just don't know where to start. I'm all about moderation, but I agree wanting to buy healthy stuff is good. In today's Your Healthy Family, Fox 4 Morning anchor Lisa Greenberg is live. She's at Sprouts Farmers Market in Cape Coral to show you the seven foods that should always be on your grocery list. Lisa? So we've talked a lot about some of the healthy foods that should always be on your grocery list here on Fox 4 Morning News. You can see some of them here in the cart. We've got blueberries, apples, wild caught fish, walnuts, but now we want to focus in on another item. We're going to talk about avocados here. A lot of people have talked about, is it a fruit? Is it a vegetable? I know they may seem more like a vegetable, but avocados are in fact fruit. And it turns out they are very healthy for you. Like chickpeas, they have a lot of the healthy fats that you should be getting in your diet. So these are two items that should always be on your grocery list. Avocado toast seems to be all the rage these days. And Coach Nino Magadino, the owner of MaxFlex Fitness, says the star of the show, those avocados, should always be on your grocery list. The biggest reason... Healthy fat. They also have protein as well. In fact, out of all the fruits... Avocado has the most protein. Another power food to buy during your next trip to the store, chickpeas. Magadino says they're also full of healthy fat, and rich in fiber. Chickpeas are great in salads, a ton of vitamins in chickpeas as well, lower in calories, lower in the saturated fats. And if you just don't like chickpeas, he recommends trying hummus. Hummus is made of chickpeas yep. as well, so you can always, you know, if you don't if you have a tough time with that, you can always try hummus. And it turns out there are different types of avocados that you can buy as well. I have Casey Umber, he's the store director here of Sprouts Cape Coral. And Obviously, one of these chickpeas is more native to Florida. I mean, one of these avocados. We'll get to chickpeas in just a second. One of these avocados is more native to Florida. Yes, this one right here, right now it's coming from the Den Dominican Republic. However, we do have a season for these here in Florida. Nice. It's actually known as a Florida avocado. And actually, I just moved to the area and I was looking for a home. There's a tree in the backyard that's full of these and I might really? have taken a couple <laughs> after looking at the house. But these are fantastic. It tastes very similar to these, but these are just, uh, there's a lot more to them, and these are a little bit harder to tell when they're ripe or not, but it's when it gets softer, they're ready to eat. It's funny because, of course, I'm from Florida, born and raised here. Mm -hmm. I've never had this kind of avocado. This is the typical avocado that you see at restaurants and you would typically buy from the grocery store. Yes, these avocados, uh, you know, one thing about it here is sprouts, we're always going to have an option for you. We have them ready to eat, and then we have them more of the green color yep, right that here. are, you can have them in a few days. Awesome. And then another thing that uh, that nutrition expert we just mm -hmm. heard from mention was chickpeas here. Now you see them in the can here, but there are a lot of different ways that you can eat chickpeas. Yes, yeah, so eating chickpeas is, you can use these on salads, you can stew them down. They're great in stews and soups. Another way, you can smash them into a sandwich even as like a spread as, to take away uh, in, instead of using a mayonnaise. This is a healthy Ooh. spread. See, I'm not a fan of mayonnaise, so maybe I'll have to give that a try. This is also a good, healthy protein for people who don't eat meat as well. I know it makes up a lot of those burgers that yes. are for vegetarian and folks who are vegan. And then, of course, as Nino mentioned, you can always stick to the hummus as well if chickpeas just aren't your thing. Now, coming up on Fox 4 Morning News in our next Your Healthy Family segment, we're going to talk about a vegetable that is really good for your health, has a lot of antioxidants and vitamins in it, so keep it here on Fox 4 Morning News. I'll send it back inside to the studio.